want to learn how to make this perfect invisible color change, keep watching. When you're ready to change color, finish your last stitch of the round, cut the yarn leaving a small yarn tail and pull it out. Now you're going to skip one stitch and you're going to go into the next stitch from the inside going out like this. You're going to take the yarn tail and pull it out and then go back into the last stitch that you made. Insert your hook in the back loop only of that stitch from the inside going out and pull the yarn tail out again. Now you've created that fake stitch here. This technique can also be called the invisible fasten off. Now using our new color, we're going to work a standing single crochet stitch. So you're going to start by making a slip knot with that new color. You're then going to insert your crochet hook in that fake stitch that we've just created. And we're going to work our single crochet stitch. So you're going to yarn under or over depending and then complete your single crochet stitch. Then follow the pattern as written. And I'm going to show you what to do when you reach the end of the round. Okay, so when you reach the end of the round, just like this, you're going to insert your hook into the first stitch or the standing single crochet stitch that we made. And we're going to keep following the pattern as written. When you're ready to make another color change, just follow the same steps. So cut your yarn and I'm also going to show you a little tip that I like to do um, to make sure that the color change is really invisible. And that is by pulling on both yarn tails that are inside the piece. So on the standing single crochet stitch tail and also on the tail that we cut previously. And then I just like to stretch the stitches and you're all done. I really hope you enjoyed this tip. Make sure to like, comment and share if you did. And you can also save this post if you need it for later.